Hey everybody, uh, Chief Meteorologist Brian Petovich here. Quick update on the winter weather heading to parts of our area. This winter storm is missing most of the Carolinas except for a small section of the mountains and foothills where there could be some significant travel impacts, by the way. Um, definitely going to be an issue late tonight, early tomorrow morning. We'll talk about these areas right now. Uh, you can see I moved my head out of the way so you can see all of them. Winter storm warnings up for Ashe County, Watahoga County. We've got winter weather advisories for all the surrounding counties. A late ad this morning was all of Caldwell County because we do expect some icing a little closer to Lenore, maybe even the north side of Hickory, Wilkes County, and then up into areas um, of Allegheny County, going up into uh, Yadkin County, and then heading up towards Mount Airy. So you're getting in this area where we're expecting the winter weather. You can see the warnings to the north. That's where the heart of this winter storm is. Even some ice storm warnings and blizzard warnings. This is quite a doozy of a system. So pretty impressive to see this. Um, you know, after it's, it's been a relatively quiet couple of years. So let's turn on the radar and I'll show you what's going on. This is a massive system. I mean, we've got thunder sleet and even thunder freezing rain all the way up into Missouri. These are cloud to ground lightning strikes. Severe weather risk today right here across the Mid-South. You see the leading edge of the precipitation trying to make a run at us. Now, a lot of this is going to skip to the north and some of this is going to evaporate. The air over us is incredibly dry, but it's also incredibly cold. So... Um, if something does make it to the ground, it's likely going to be sleet or maybe a little bit of snow before it moves out. The main bulk of moisture is coming in later tonight. So let's talk about what we're going to see. So we'll dive into the short range rapid refresh guidance here. We'll go through the middle of the day. So you can see around one to two, there might be a little band of precip that clips the northern mountains. I would not, I don't think that's going to amount to much, to be honest. With you. I would not worry about it. Temperatures are pretty much above freezing in most areas right now. So Whatever falls is going to be more just a, a nuisance or maybe just more of a novelty. The real issues tonight as the bulk of this moisture moves in. So this is 9 p.m. We get into 10. You see the moisture moving in and you see this area where the ice is kind of locked in. This is where the cold air typically gets trapped. And again, this is an area I know from experience and everybody who lives in this area should know. This is an area which typically sees the cold air lock in. You've got a, a little component of upslope here. You've got cold air being trapped. It's just all the ingredients, even without a ton of cold air in place, you tend to see the ice hang on for a while. Now, freezing rain is a self-limiting process. You've probably heard me talk about this before. Unless you have a constant resupply of cold, dry air coming into the surface, eventually use up the air because think about water. To freeze water, you got to remove heat from it, right? Just like if you warm up water on the stove, like boil water, you got to add heat to it. Well, the same thing happens when you freeze, but in reverse, right? You got to remove the heat. So where does that heat go? Well, it goes into the air. And if you remove enough heat from the water to freeze it, eventually the air will warm up because that heat's going into the air, unless you have more cold air to compensate for that. So that's why rain is uh, freezing rain is often called a self-limiting process. It eventually will shut itself off if there's not more cold air in place. And that's what I expect to happen with this system. And you can see the timing of this. This is three, four in the morning. Again, most of us is rain. This is a non-winter event for all of us outside of that small area. And even there, the warm air eventually overwhelms it and changes it all to rain at some point tomorrow morning. And by the middle of tomorrow, this front is gone and then cold air moves back in. So we could see a brief warm up tomorrow with temperatures maybe close to 50. And then the temperature is going to drop again and the cold air spills back in. Brief shot of northwest flow of snow on the backside. So the amount of ice I'm talking about right now, uh, generally about... I'd say a tenth of an inch or less, but a few spots could approach that magical number of a quarter inch. And I, I say that's magical because that's where we, we tend to have tree and power line issues. Right now, I don't anticipate this, um, a power line or tree issue, but I do anticipate a travel issue. It's been cold. It's been dry. The road surfaces are cold right now. So anything that falls in this area is ice or freezing rain is going to cause some slick spots. Now, as far as snow, there's not much snow in the system for us. You can see even in the mountains, this does not amount to a whole lot, even through Monday night. So this is not a big snowmaker. It's really about the ice, everybody. So the focus should be on the ice here, especially here. Now, some good news for snow lovers and people who don't like ice and don't like what we're seeing right now. Uh, remember this graphic I I've been showing the last couple of days. Yes, we're still here. This pattern is still feral. But we're getting here. And I can tell you right now, the trend is going up for some type of wintry weather. But before you get too excited, it doesn't mean snow. The potential for a wintry mix of some kind, snow, sleet, freezing rain, still in the cards for Friday night into Saturday morning next weekend. So I've been watching this closely. Um, I know a lot of folks bailed on this because they look at deterministic single model runs. The pattern is still there for winter precipitation next week. And in fact, one of the things you'll notice is the Weather Prediction Center has added 
some of the Carolinas for that Friday night into Saturday morning time frame into the 10 to 30 percent chance of wintry precip. So some areas east of the mountains are included in this. So it's kind of a messy setup here, but you get the idea. Friday night into Saturday, I don't anticipate a huge system right now, but there's still some potential there. So this is something to watch. And as always, we're right in this range, the five to seven day range. And so I can tell you, I would put a check here and say it is trending towards something, maybe not a big system, but we're certainly trending up for the potential of a wintry mess. As we get into this week, we'll have more into the three to five day range, timing, storm type, is it snow, sleet, ice, or freezing rain? So just wanted to leave you with that because that is something I'm still monitoring late this week. But right now, the story is going to be this icy mess, which is heading towards the mountains. I'm moving myself out of the way. This is mostly rain for everybody else, but the area we're talking about, Burke, Caldwell, um, McDowell, Mitchell, Yancey, Avery, Ash, Watauga, Wilkes County, those areas in particular are probably the most susceptible to seeing ice tonight and early tomorrow.